Have you ever been to a pet store and you've noticed a sick or neglected reptile in one of the habitats? You may want to buy that reptile to rescue it and get it out of that situation. However, doing so may not be the best thing for the reptiles in the long run. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how you should respond and what you should do if you do see a sick reptile in a pet store. Common health issues you may see in reptiles at pet stores include stuck shed when it comes to snakes and lizards. It can get stuck on like geckos quite often if their humidity levels aren't right. Or you may see skinny or malnourished reptiles. Either way, it's not a good thing to see that, especially on the sales floor. So if you notice an animal that is sick or neglected, the first thing you should do is notify management. Get Find management in the store and talk to them and politely make them aware of the situation and the, that the animal looks sick or that it's uh, unhealthy in general and see what the management does. See if they improve the conditions. Give the store about a week to straighten things out and improve the enclosure. And if things haven't improved after that week, then the next thing you should do is contact the corporate office of the business if they have one. A lot of the big chain retail stores have a customer support line that you can call and you can report concerns over animal health and that should be your next step. Again, give them a week afterwards. Many retail stores will actually call you if you talk to corporate and report something wrong with their enclosures and they will tell you what they're going to do to fix it. Not all retail stores will do this. It's really just the two big chain stores in the United States anyway who that will call you back if you contact corporate. But then again, give them a whole week to fix the enclosures and check back again. If things still haven't improved in the animal's enclosure, then I would suggest taking it to the next level and take a picture of the living conditions the animal is being kept in and post it on social media. Get the word out there that that store is not properly taking care of their animals. You can post your observations and concerns on their Facebook page and you can actually tag the business as well so that they see the post. You can post it on Twitter, on Instagram, any social media platform you can think of. Basically just spread awareness and make the public aware of what they're doing to their animals. Another thing you can do is review the business on Google. Look up their Google business listing and insert your review and share your opinion and include pictures if at all possible. The company will likely see this because lots of companies will check regularly their own Google reviews to see how things are looking. And if they notice there's a lot of negative reviews that uh, involve animal care, they will likely improve their animal care to not only improve their own self-image, but therefore to improve business. As tough as it may be, don't feel obligated to buy the animal and rescue it and get it out of that situation because that sadly only supports the business and encourages them to purchase another animal to take its place and therefore be subjected to the same mistreatment as the previous one. But if you don't purchase that animal and it just doesn't sell because it's sick and so nobody wants to buy it, or if it passes away in the store's care, then the company is out the money that it costs to buy the animal and care for it during the time they had it in the store, and they have less incentive to replace it then afterwards. This is especially true with more expensive species of reptiles. Sadly, the more common species like ball pythons, bearded dragons, and leopard geckos are so cheap at a wholesale price that even if one or two passes away, the company is likely not to change their habits on what animals they care for and how they take care of them. They're just going to buy another one and replace it. That's why it's so important to get the word out there of any mistreatment that you see that hasn't been improved on and post pictures on social media platforms. Of course, keep in mind that not all pet stores are going to neglect their pets. Not even the big chain pet stores are all going to like neglect or mistreat their animals. Uh, if you don't already know, I worked at PetSmart. I was at one of the big retail pet stores for over nine years and I was a management there. I was in charge of the pet care department and I made sure my team took excellent care of the reptiles because of course they were my favorites. So I made sure they were properly cared for along with all the other animals in the department. The tough part as a pet store employee is that there are certain protocols you have to follow and if you do not follow them you can get in trouble and possibly lose your job. An example of this would be giving ball pythons live rodents if they refuse frozen thawed rodents. The policy when I worked at PetSmart was that you could only feed snakes frozen thawed rodents and if they refused it you could not try to feed them live. That was just against policy. So what we did was instead of letting the snakes starve to death because it would refuse frozen thawed, 
we would adopt it out to a customer that could take good care of it and could offer it live rodents. And that was kind of a good compromise. Uh, another one of the policies there is that if any animal, whether it be a reptile, small animal, or bird, or other, has any physical deformities or any chronic health issues that have been cleared by the vet as something that's just going to be with the animal, like a hamster with diabetes. It's not something you can cure. It's just something the animal's going to have for the rest of its life. In any of those sorts of instances, the animal gets adopted for free to a customer that has the experience to properly take care of that special needs animal. So where I worked at least at my location, uh, we've made sure the animals had really good care, but I can't say the same for all locations out there and all pet stores, of course. It all depends on their pet care team and their dedication to the animal's welfare. Another thing to keep in mind is that there are multiple ways to properly take care of reptiles and the animals at pet stores are in temporary setups. They're only there until they're sold and then they are moved to a permanent enclosure at their new owner's house. Of course, if the animal has stuck shed or it's severely dehydrated or it's malnourished, that's one thing. Obviously, there's something wrong in the enclosure, something seriously wrong. But if, say, the store houses a ball python in kind of a smaller enclosure, that's not necessarily something that you need to report to corporate or spread on social media because, again, the animal is just in there temporarily until it's sold. So overall, the best thing to do is to notify the proper people, whether it be management, corporate, or the public about the care of the animals that the pet store is providing. And that will likely be the most effective thing you can do when it comes to the care of that animal and future animals. And of course, if you are bringing it to the public level, make sure you take pictures of it to make people aware of what's really going on. Anyway, I hope today's video kind of helped explain how you should approach a mistreated animal in a pet store so that you can not only improve that animal's care, but you can also improve the care of all the other animals they have in the future. As always, thank you for watching and thank you to all of our Patreon supporters for backing this channel and we'll see you next time.